So we're going to talk about how to set up the Facebook ad pixel now. I'm going to bring up a general framework that looks at a funnel here. So let's assume you're doing a webinar or a lead magnet funnel. It doesn't matter. The simplicity of your funnel is as possible. And I'm going to talk to, uh, I'm going to help you, Kendra, specifically do this for organic intelligence, but I can also use this video for other people that are struggling with setting up pixels. So here's how it works. Your funnel is a simply a number of URLs, period. There's a website address or a URL for your opt-in page and then the thank you page. And then the, the, that could also be maybe a webinar registration and whatever content you're going to give your audience, there's just simply a number of web pages between them first clicking to your opt-in and buying something in your shopping cart. So what we want to do is we want to track using Facebook pixels and understand our funnel so we can see for exactly what part of the funnel they're in we can track the performance and actually optimize for that. In other words, on the page after somebody opts in for my lead magnet, I want to track that as a lead. Maybe on the page after somebody opts in for my webinar, I want to track that as a webinar registration. And maybe on the thank you page after somebody places an order, we want to track that as a customer and tell the dollar value. The reason why that is so powerful, because if I go look at my, let me go and look at my funnel here. When I go and look, when you look at your main Facebook account, you log in, the default screen is looking at your ad campaigns and how to manage your ads. Um, and you'll see some, you know, whatever ads you have running now or in the past, doesn't matter. You're looking at a bunch of columns here. One big tip is you can customize these columns. So what you can do is you can come in here, you can say customize columns, and you could actually add stuff like, you know, important information like, okay, purchases that's really huge so I can actually look in here and add how many people are clicking what the click-through rate is how many leads I apply whatever if you're doing e-commerce or you're actually tracking your sales that's when things the rubber really hits the road so I can see here in the last seven days 24 purchases and I can see the reason why it's so important is because I can see cost per purchase I can see what I paid to get a customer and the value, right? So I, so I can see here that I spent 1600 got 2300 Spent 2500 got 4300 Spent $6, got 1900 right? So you want to be able to track not only what are you paying to get a lead at the top of your funnel, but how much, but your customers. That's what this allows you to do. So I won't go into that. There's in a detail in terms of tracking your ad campaigns. That'll be a separate video. But for now, let's look at the Facebook pixel and how it works. This is really going to help you kind of get set up and know what's going on. You'll see that I can see my whole funnel in my Facebook account here. That's why it's so powerful. I can say, okay, well, last seven days, I got 7,600 page views, which is tracked by a pixel. Um, I had seven, uh, 1,600 webinar registrations, 300 people added um, a product to the shopping cart, meaning they looked at the shopping cart or the order form. And then 89 people bought something. So that's why it's so powerful. It's even more powerful because if you use a tool like Ad Espresso, which I highly recommend, um, let me go here and log out and log in as myself really quick. This is go here and log in as myself. So Ad Espresso is simply a tool that helps you manage your Facebook ads. And it's much more simple to use, but more importantly to optimize. So in Facebook, if you have a whole bunch of ads, think about it. You're targeting different audiences and different placements. So you might target people who like the, the Red Sox, you know, on the right column, on Instagram, and the news feed, on mobile devices. So Ad Espresso allows you to see what's working and what's not. But more importantly, I can look here in the last 30 days. I can look here, you know, lifetime since I started using Ad Espresso. And you get really, really good substantive information. I can say, okay, you know, spending sixteen thousand dollars in ads, you might say, wow, that's a lot. But I can say sixty nine dollars, sixty nine thousand dollars. That's a pretty good ROI. I don't even know what that is. Six times or something, um, six or seven times ROI. Last thirty days, I can see that I've spent. Let's let this thing catch up here. Okay. Uh, $11,000 and $32,000. So that's a little bit over three X, right? Pretty powerful stuff anyway. So the only way this is possible, if I look at any one of my campaigns, 
let's say I'm doing a webinar replay campaign right now because we just ran a webinar the other day. The only way this is possible to get any kind of good information, $6 spit 1900 that's not bad, um, is I can look at how many leads and how many purchases and all that kind of stuff. I can see my funnel because I'm tracking. So the way you track this in Facebook is very simple. You go to your ads manager in Facebook and what you do is you come in here and you say actions, view pixel code. So if you don't have a pixel in your Facebook account, you just go create pixel. And here's what it is. There's one piece of code that you put everywhere on your web pages. So if you have a WordPress website, you're going to put it on your WordPress site and using a plugin, it's going to just show up on all your pages. If you use lead pages or click funnels, there's a simple place to put that code. So when you go to your Facebook account here and you say view the pixel code, all you're going to do is you're going to grab this pixel code right here and you're going to put that on all of your web pages. Does that make sense? So if I go look at your account, this is all going to make more sense when I show you where it fits in the funnel. Okay. So I'm going to go look at your account, organic intelligence. I'm going to say tools, pixels. And what I want to do is go view pixel code. Now when I'm looking at this pixel code, I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it. And again, if I'm using something like lead pages for my opt-in pages, which most people would, I'm going to go to lead pages and I'm going to simply log in go to whatever lead page I'm using, whatever I'm, whichever I'm, I'm, whichever page I'm working with in my funnel, I want to make sure all my pages have that code, but I have to make a change based on what kind of page it is. Let me show what I mean. So here we have people opting in for a webinar. Okay. Well, I would edit that. I would bring up that page. I'll show you how to do it in WordPress in a minute. It's very easy. I would go to lead page options, tracking codes. And I want to make sure that I have, as you can see here, that, pixel code. And that's going to track every user that comes to this page. And look, this is the most important part of the code. And it says page view. So what am I tracking when someone comes to the webinar opt in I'm a page view because they're viewing the page. So for most of the pages in your funnel, it's just going to be set to page view, depending on if they become a lead or, or a, register for a webinar or purchase something. When they accomplish one of the goals in your funnel, something you want to measure, then you have to just tech, tweak this little code right here to reflect whatever the goal is. Let me show you what I mean by that. So this is a page view. It's all set up to track. But if they register for a webinar, so if I go look at the webinar thank you page, you'll see that there's a little change to that code. So I go to lead page options, I go to tracking codes, and you'll see that this says track complete registration. Okay. Um, sorry. Got my wife just dropping food all over the background. I'm trying to make a video it happens all the time. Um, when it says complete registration, you click on here and that's going to track something totally different than a page view. The reason why you're tracking that is because that's a goal in your funnel. When someone completes a registration, that's a goal in your funnel. That's very important. Okay. So how do you do that? And then I'll show you when they purchase something, it's the same thing. So if I go to my business manager and I'm looking at this code, Facebook just gives you the options and they're, they're automatic conversion tracking, right? So if they're a lead on the page, they go after they opt in, you're going to change it to lead. If they register for a webinar, for example, or an event, you change it to complete registration. Again, you just go into your code and change that one little tiny piece. Okay. Go back to my lead pages here. You just change that one little tiny piece in the tracking code section to what the goal is. Now here is the coolest part about this. If they purchase something, and this is uh, Kendra, where you and the organic intelligence heart training will come in here. If they purchase something, meaning they spend money, then you got to go to the page after that and indicate that it's a purchase. So if I look at my funnel schematic here, let's just, you know, I'm tracking on the page after they opt in, that's a lead on the page after they register for a webinar, that's a webinar registration. 
after they purchase, you're going to have a thank you page. You put the same code in there and you'd say it's a purchase. So you just go to that simple code here and you'll see when it says purchase, but here's the cool part. You get to put the dollar amount. So whatever dollar amount your customer spent, you put that value in here, right? So it's really, really cool because you can say, okay, they spent, you know, $40 on a $40 course or $7,000, whatever you, and if, and if you have a, um, let's just say they, they're purchasing a subscription product or a membership and you don't know what the total amount is going to be. You have to take an average. So if they're buying something for $700 a month and you have to look and say what the average, if the average customer stays around for four months, then you put the value for 2,800, but I would be conservative. Just what's the real value when a customer purchases that you put that here. So by doing that, so what you want, you're going to be able to track your whole funnel. You're going to see how many people are becoming leads, what you're paying for a lead, how many people are doing the next step of your funnel and how many people are actually purchasing your products. It's really, really straightforward. And that's how you're going to track all your pixels. Um, and most importantly, it also allows you the, the, the same, um, Facebook tool allows you to advertise to different parts of your audience. So you can run a different ad to people who are leads than the people who go to that have registered for a webinar. You can run an ad for people that have been in your webinar to purchase your product. So you want to segment each step of your funnel with your ads, your emails that way. But this is how you set up your pixels. If you have a WordPress site, lastly, let's just say you have a, a normal WordPress site. I'm going to go log in here to WordPress. Let's just go look at uh, the example of a WordPress site. I'm actually logged in here. You just go to plugins. If you have a WordPress or every kind of website, every website platform, again, you need to have this stuff installed. So you go to, you go to plugins, you add new and you search for header and footer. And then once you install header and footer, you go to, you go, you go to settings and all you do is you paste your Facebook code here and it's going to automatically put that on every single page of your funnel. See, it says Facebook page view, really powerful, really easy to set up. That way you can track your whole funnel and your performance and your ROI and your advertising with Facebook pixels. So hopefully that helps. Let me know if you have any questions.